Good evening. Apologies, I can't be with you to celebrate what is a unique event. First off, though, congratulations are in order to the organising committee for creating this special occasion to allow us all to remember so many rich moments since the club was first formed 50 years ago. Now, being a South Melbourne fan allows for many fabulous memories. The Blue and White fan base certainly knows that its club, our club, is undeniably the biggest in Australia outside the A-League and I believe the most successful club in NSL history. Please enjoy the evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, make Make sure you soak up all the special moments and you get a chance to reminisce with the people who have helped to make South Melbourne FC famous. Μου κάνει μια πρόσκληση από εδώ, ο φίλος μου ο Χαζηλευτερίου. Είπα να έρθω για τρεις μήνες να παίξω εδώ, έτσι ήταν, είχα ένα κοντράτο, αλλά είδα ότι ήταν τόσο ωραία εδώ και αποφάσισα να μείνω. And then we were a group of Greeks playing in Fokna Park, South Yara Soccer Club. And when Hellas was founded in 1959, I started in 1960, the first competition was South Melbourne Hellas which they used to call it the glamour side. And I believe it's still a glamour side. I came to South Melbourne in 1966. I was uh, very fortunate to play in uh, South Melbourne Hellas, which um, means a lot to me. Because South Melbourne Hellas, we all know that is um, one of the most successful and the glamour club in Australia, and still is. I came out here from Scotland in 1966 and joined up with Hakoa Soccer Club. And uh, noticed that South Melbourne were always a very good side. Um, Hakoa, they didn't have many spectators. Uh, Hellas had all the spectators and I thought I'd love to play with this club. That was funny for me because um, that was a um, new club, new language, new everything new and that was, that was hard work for me then and then after a couple of games I start playing you know I start feeling feeling at home so yeah it was my first game and here I am now at South after four years five now. Uh, one of the things I loved about South Melbourne was the fact that we always had so many talented players and uh, the club was always looking to get more talented players in and it was really about producing uh, a really good team. And I was fortunate enough to play with um, some really superstars like Jimmy Mandarakis and Andrew Russes, Johnny Bedford, Johnny Anderson, Eni Akali, Uli Kambaropoulos. He's not with us anymore. Um, Jimmy Armstrong, Michael Mandali, John Dapiris, other uh, Xanthopoulos, Chris Calafatidis, and of course um, Jimmy Birgolius. If you were any good, you'd be playing with South Melbourne Hellas, and they were all bloody good in those days. Playing with these guys, I mean, they were really superstars and I was um, very fortunate to, to kick the ball with them. No doubt, Paul Trimboli was the best player that I've played with um, at this club and probably at all the other clubs that I've played with. He's an extraordinary person and, and club man. And if you could model yourself on a player, I think Paul would be um, the person you'd have to model yourself. And, and there was a Greek player that came from Greece. And he, he wasn't young when he came, Connor Storidis most people would know. Uh, he only played a few games here, but he was a superstar as an old person that he came out. I would like to thank all of those people who I've known here, especially the sportsmen, the Mandali, the Gokino, the Gokino, the Birgolio, the Mandaraki, the Nakerli. I would like to say a big thank you to you I stayed on till 84 where we won the uh, the uh, national uh, the first national league championship and I had great players like uh, Oscar Carino, Alan Davidson, uh, Charlie Egan, Dougie Brown, great sides. Uh, you play soccer, football to win things and the 84 championship uh, with the characters that we had and the team that we had was an absolute fantastic experience. Uh, for some reason, Hellas produced some incredible players. That was the beautiful thing about South Melbourne. They had so many wonderful players over the years. 
and where there were an era with Pushkas, which was a really golden era at that, at that stage. He was almost like a father figure to everybody and he had wonderful confidence in everyone and belief in everyone that really translated uh, into the group and, uh, and we were very successful with him. I mean, when I came to the club and winning those championships, I mean, just best time, I thought best time of my life then, coming into first year and straight away winning a championship. Um, it was so good that I never drank and that night I got drunk after we won the championship, <laughs> so it was pretty bad. <laughs> Το πρώτο παιχνίδι ήταν και τυχερό, δεν ξέρω εγώ τι. Είπε, όταν τελείωσε το παιχνίδι και μετά το παιχνίδι, α, είδαμε, είδα να έρθει ο κόντρο μέσα στο γήπεδο, πριν πάω στα ποδητήρια και να μου δίνουν λίρες στα χέρια. Yes, μου δίνουν λίρες στα χέρια, δεν ξέρω τι είναι αυτά τα λεφτά, γιατί είχα Σαββάτο και Κυριακή και έπαιξα μπάλα. Και έπαιξα και ήμουν και καλός, όχι τίποτα άλλο για πω. The championship win in 1991 was very special. It was the first one that I'd had as a player. It was the first one South Melbourne had had for a number of years. Um, and just the atmosphere that day at Olympic Park and the manner in which we run the game, we were probably on the back foot for most of the game, but uh, you know, it just it was, it seemed to be destined to be our day that day. Greatest moment was I, by far, I can't go away from the 2006 grand final win when Gianni Donati has actually scored the goal. It was obviously one of the better moments and um, unbelievable, unbelievable feeling scoring the winning goal in the grand final. And the feeling after the game, just another, oh, just words cannot describe it. Words cannot describe it.